I want to be safe. I want to be healthy. I want to be educated. And I want to get back to my community. Our mission as the church is to listen and to respond to the pain in our community. So, but we don't do this alone. Like I said, we have partners. Community is built just like this, with everybody coming outside of their doors, uh, getting outside of the church, and making a difference. Uh, I am so happy to partner with Harmony and my good friend, Pastor Brooks, who is doing an amazing job here in North Lawndale. We thank him for his leadership and this idea to just get outside and fellowship and, and reduce violence by being together as community. And if we take the sense of love, we take the sense of community, we take the sense of neighborness and caring for each other. That means our kids know that they're surrounded by love and affection. They know that people that are not their parents care about them. Let our kids know laughter rather than gunfire. That's right. Let our kids know love and hope rather than despair. That's right. And if we do that, we're going to be everything we can be because every child, every neighborhood, and every corner comes to the city of Chicago, and we're not giving an inch to anybody else. You better say it, man. Peace, be still in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you right now for everything you're going to do. You're going to put families in these vacant buildings, God. In the name of Jesus, we come against the spirit of crime. In the name of Jesus, fill up the household. Educate our children. You tell us to train up a child. To be safe means to not be afraid and to be protected. Be safe makes me feel like I'm safe in a community that I can trust. For my children, uh, no violence, no gun stop, no fighting. To be protected, um, to be cared for. It also means to be provided for, to make sure that I have what I need that, in, that ensures safety and security. When I think of safety, I think about our goal. When I think about being open and available seven days a week for youth. I think about the sense of community and, and community center that was a safe haven for me growing up. Focus on being safe, keeping our children safe, keeping our elderly safe, and just keeping each other safe. Being safe here because they have a lot of programs for us. That's how to be safe. When I think of safety in regards to harmony, I think of our future. Be healthy means eat your vegetables, brush your teeth, and that's it. It's a desert here where. Um, we don't buy fruit, fruits and vegetables because it's not there right at our fingertips. For me to get it, I have to go so far out to sometimes I just say, you know what, forget it, I'll just buy the can. Go to the doctor when you don't feel good. And not have to worry about like basic health needs. That's a huge foundation for them in terms of like doing well in school, in terms of having a dream for themselves. Our church focuses on the whole body not only spiritually, but your health, what you eat, what you exercise. So everything is about health, spiritually, your mind, your body, and your soul. I say mentally and physically, like healthy eating, and then mentally it's just your mind to be always straight and not thinking about bad things. To be whole, right, to be complete, to be a great steward over all that God has given you as far as your body is concerned especially. It is to be strong enough to do all the work that God has called you to do. Be educated means to see things and know things differently. Once upon a time in the United States of America, African Americans were not allowed to be educated. So with that said, the value of education is infinite. Education is key, it's, it's the only way out 
a lot of people think it's, you know, sports, but education is literally the only way out. It is what makes you powerful. Here at Harmony, we have Tuesday tutoring, we have Thursday you can, and uh, just other programs that are cultivating our young people. So anything that we can do to invest in their education is going to further their future and all of ours. They're all kind of intertwined. So, you know, you want your kid, you want kids to be able to go to school and feel safe so they can be educated, so they can give back to the community and kind of help someone else out as well. It turns their I can'ts to I can'ts and it opens up doors. It's to educate, educate, educate. What do I hope for? I hope for, I hope for to graduate and get an education. That's what I hope for. And when hope starts to settle into somebody's heart, I think that's where God's kingdom really comes and really starts to do a lot of work. Hope means my future will be a good future. It's good to see that they're beautifying our community that makes you want to stay here. So that's, it gives me hope. I hope that the community change and like just let like the parents just take care of their kids and let them go play and be kids instead of Parents are scared to let their kids be kids and run outside because there's so much violence. That's what God is calling us to do. He calls us to live in harmony and to help each other and to love on each other and pray for each other. And so that, that's why I don't leave my community. That's why I don't get out. That's why I don't go anywhere else because I'm called here and God has planted me here and he is doing great works. And so hope is the thing that allows us to continue. It's the thing that allows us to not give up is that thing that allows us to continue to have joy despite what it looks like. So it is it is a driving force. I want to be safe. I want to be healthy. I want to be educated. Yes, I do feel safe for Harmony because it's a lot of people around. And it's God Church. 